I'll be making a spinach and sweet potato fried dumpling okay apparently I'm just gonna talk you through what I have here on my counter I've got some spinach I've got some sweet potatoes I've got self-raising flour plain flour and a couple of um, sweet peppers and some spring onion and over on the cooker I've got here some hot water with some salt so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clean this all up, prep it, wash it, and come back and show you what I'm doing. I prepared all my um, sweet potatoes and the seasoning that I was showing you. I'm now going to put my sweet potatoes in the pot and I'm going to let that kind of cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, basically until they are soft. Yeah, because I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. If you have a steamer, you can also steam this for 15 minutes or maybe 20. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to leave that to cook now. And then over on there, I'm going to steam the um, spinach. So in, I'm going to put a bit of um, sweet peppers and tomatoes and onion everything that i put there i'm gonna put it here yeah? so i'm gonna steam this spinach for a little while i don't want it to be soft right so let's turn the fire up a bit i'm um, putting in the onion and them lot i'm just gonna put a tiny bit of ketchup just a little bit because it makes the smell of the onion kind of go away a bit and it smells really really good so now I'm going to put my spinach in. I'm not doing a lot today. And I'm going to let this steam for about 5 to 10 minutes. I don't want it too soft, yeah? So before I go here, I will be using some of this lovely seasoning in, in here. It's vegetable. It's a vegan seasoning. It's got lots of stuff in it. So, in goes, use whatever seasoning you want to use. I'm using a, table, a teaspoon, yeah? And then, I'm going to use some black pepper. And that's all I want in mine. Not a lot of black pepper. And just to let you know, I've used vegetable oil, about two tablespoons. You can use any oil you want. So, look at that. Oh, my God. It smells gorgeous. Very, very nice. So I'm going to let that steam and I just want to say to you, thank you so much again for watching all my videos. Um, please like, share, subscribe, continue to subscribe, continue to watch, um, hit that notification bell and tell a friend to tell a friend. It means a lot to me. It's appreciated all your subscription. Thank you so much. And I'm going to leave that for a couple minutes, maybe about five, like I said, five, 10 minutes until what, however I like it. You can do it however you want. And here's the potatoes going there. And I will keep going and show you how I do the process. So after um, my potato is boiled, it really took me about 20 minutes because look, it's nice and soft. So what I did, I strained the water off and I love it like this. This is not the Jamaican potato. This is the English potato, right? For regards to the spinach as well, I did not have to, to drain any liquid off because the way how it comes out, that's how I want it. That's why I chose to use the other spinach that I showed you, not the one in the pack from the supermarket because the one in the pack from the supermarket, it produces a lot of water. And over here, I've got a egg, which I whisk just to combine everything together. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna crush my potato like so. And I'm just gonna crush it. You can use any potato you want. Make sure you get everything really nice and soft. Combine it together. And then I'm gonna add some self-raising flour because I cannot get all um, all purpose. So now I've done like two, three. 
And the reason why I chose to use the plain flour as well is because I want to combine it together so, so that it doesn't get too soggy to suck up oil, the, all the oil and then become too greasy. So that should be okay now. And I'm going to mix that together. Look how look, lovely that looks, right? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this together in there. See, no liquid. Mix it all up together again. Then I'm going to put my egg, which is all beat. This eggs combine together. And in here, over here, I've got some other seasoning, which is just the vegetable seasoning alongside with some all purpose and some fish seasoning, yeah? And I'm gonna mix everything together. I'm not using any salt yet. And the reason why I chose not to is because when I taste the vegetable, it was just perfect the way how I want it. Look at this, how nice this look. Wow. I'm going to put some flour on the side after this and I'm going to show you why I chose to do that. This is about, you know, season to taste really. Oh my God, this is going to be so nice. I've tried it already and I love it. You can also bake it, but I chose to fry it. So I've started by rolling them into a ball, adding some flour over them to just to combine it together. If you use the Jamaican potato, you don't really have to use um, the flour that much to combine them together. But this potato that I use, it, it's kind of a bit um, saggy. So you have to like use the flour just to get it together. Yeah, so just use the amount of flour that based on your preference. And I've got my pot over there that is ready for these to go in. So I'm just going to put them in slowly and show you. Yeah. So on low fire. I'll keep, keep you posted on what I'm doing. Okay. Stay with me. Make sure that you turn the fire really low before they start burning. Don't leave them alone. Just stay with them. And look how lovely they look. Oh my God, they taste really, really nice as well. So I'm just going to keep an eye on them and just let them fry right through. Look, it's not even soggy or anything because I mix it with the plain flour. So after two minutes turning one side, some of them is ready to come out. Oh, look, this smells lovely, really gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. So when you next see is everything is finished and coming out. Let this side do a little bit more. Yep. Oh my God, I can't wait. So after I take out all the rest that is fried, I'm just gonna put in this last set and then I will keep showing you. I will, I'm, actually, I will show you when I finish. Yes, so stay with me, make yourself a lovely cup of tea. Here is the final touch, finishing touch of my um, sweet potato spinach fry dumpling. This recipe is from my mother. She always do it, but she used callaloo instead of spinach. But where I am, I, I still can't get any callaloo. It's not the season yet. And she said to me, I should never use tin callaloo. I need to use a fresh callaloo. So mama, big up your nice, clean self. I love you so much. You are the best. And I just want to try this and let you know how nice it is. Look at that. Very nice. Very soft. Succulent. I chose to use mine with some sweet chili sauce and tomato ketchup. You can use it with anything of your choice, but thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, comment, hit that notification bell that whenever your Lady Opal posts a video, 
you should be the first to know please remember to subscribe to my channel as well and i just want to say love you all a cup of tea and chill Thank you.